Hey guys, Brian Gustafson here with my buddy Jamie Bruce and we're going to teach you guys how to tie a marabou jig. I get asked all the time how to tie these things. Uh, we're in the area where this thing was pretty much born so people around here have really dialed in how to tie this thing. Um, you're coming right to the source for this. Uh, we're going to show you our own individual tips on how to tie this lethal weapon. <music> So the biggest thing about tying your own marabou jigs is the head. Uh, these ones, they've thought of everything from the ground up. They've got a keeper for adding filler. They've got a tie collar for beefing it up. Uh, they've got a premium Gamagatsu hook in it. You can get it number one or one aught. Um, and they've just got a head design that's, you know, not seen all the time. It's like you've seen, it takes a long time to tie these. Uh, these do a little bit better around the boulders for not getting snagged and in the crush rock uh, that design seems to pop out a little bit better so do yourself a favor and get a few of these before you start tying so I tie these probably a little different than Jamie he's probably a little more refined and meticulous I was kind of built for speed and him more more on the exotic level of it but start off with good vice this is an apex vice they're on our site get your jig and your vice Thread, a good bobbin, I think, is one of the musts. Uh, if you have a bad bobbin, you're going to tear your thread all the time. I'm really into using 6 aught waxed uni thread. Okay, when you get your when you get your boo, I just kind of like pull them all apart. They're all strung like that. Separate them and fluff them out and separate the, the good ones from the bad ones, really. Uh, it's usually about 50-50 in a pack. Like that's... I'd say that's what a good one looks like right about there. Just makes it a lot easier to tie than using the little nubby ones. I always start on the bottom. I just feel like that's kind of one of the more noticed and important parts. And I just kind of run my finger up like that. And just like you're cutting someone's hair. Like I said, everyone does it different. So that's what I get. Then I bunch it together like so and I trim that little gross end off I kind of know the distance I I like already it's kind of built into me by now but about that place her on and I just give her a bunch of wraps like that's actually probably enough there a few extras for good measures because you're gonna keep wrapping and wrapping and I have a little pattern I do and I just kind of follow suit follow suit uh, all the way around the jig and the nice part about cutting that little end debris off like I do is it makes it nice and flat so it butts up against the underside of that jig head really nice and it just makes makes the thread look a lot nicer when it when it's all said and done because there's there's no little no little pieces sticking out now after I do four batches what I typically do it's kind of a lot of trick or a trick that a lot of guys do so you actually blow on it and you can see where it's thinner. I think I typically use about eight to 10 chunks, but and I could see I'm, I'm missing a little bit right there, a little bit right there, I'm a little thin there. Blow it back and then you just kind of add accordingly to, uh, to where it looked thin to you. You see, I just kind of wrap it till it's finished real nice. Cut a little extra length. 
I don't do any fancy knots for this. I just do a standard couple overhand. I think they call them half hitches. I do about three or four. That wax thread, it, the little thin six alt wax thread, it really pulls into itself. So you almost never have these, these come apart. Good there. Cut her super short. And then, uh, whatever, guys, use all kinds of different head cement. This is just a water based one. Water based ones are a little bit better, in my opinion, because if you do get a little bit on the feathers, it doesn't, uh, doesn't screw them up as much as the, the other kind. Nice. Dab a few on there like that. Nothing major. That's about all she takes, and that's pretty much the jig I'd use right there. Ready to roll. Okay, like I said earlier, uh, everyone ties them a little bit different. I'm going to show you my methods and uh, pick whichever one you like best. Um, they both are going to get the job done. So I start with my jig upside down like this, uh, eye towards the counter here. And just same deal, get a little wrap going. That cut, and here's where the real differences in our techniques are. Um, Brian cuts it off the feather. I just clean it all up by hand. I find this is a big time saver. So you can see all this garbage at the bottom. You don't want to use that. So just grab it and it tears really easily from that main beam feather. So now I go up and just to ensure all the lengths are the same, I pinch it from the backside and then just peel it off of the feather like that and then I've got all the meat right here so nip that off where's my scissors use good scissors too good bob and good scissors if you're gonna be doing a lot of this you're really gonna appreciate um, some finer gear for this you can get by on the super cheap stuff and that's fine, but it's uh, it's one thing you're really gonna notice. So there we go, tear that off again. And just much the same, do si -do. Okay, as you can see, End result is much the same. Uh, they're all going to catch bass. Um, they sell them here at Lake of the Woods uh, Sport Headquarters. They probably sell more black hair jigs than anywhere in North America. Tying your own is, you know, it's effective. We all do it because we all like our own style of it and we like to use our own components. Uh, but the reality is it's super time consuming. They can take, you know, anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. If you start doing the math on that, and I mean, I don't know how much you make in an hour, but oftentimes it's it's just worth it to buy them. Um, but this is more if you want to get custom with it, uh, or if you just want to kill some time. And uh, yeah, so check them out. It's sportheadquarters.ca. That's not it, is it? Sports headquarters. Sports headquarters.